first time in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. James Elder, Eiffel TV, MTK Global with me. I've got the White Rhino, a.k.a. Dave Allen. Della... Della... Doncaster, Della Hoya. Doncaster, yeah. Della Hoya. Are you That's what they used to call me in my uh, amateur boxing days when I was uh, a good-looking young man roaming I'll the bet. streets of Doncaster. I bet. Let's just take it right back, strip it right back. The rematch with Lenroy Thomas, a chance for you to get that Commonwealth strap. Yeah. Everything was set up for you and geared tonight. Eddie Hearn said it was a make or break moment. Talk to me about what we've just witnessed. It's not really make it's not really make or break anything, that's it today. It's um I'm disappointed for two reasons, everyone that's came. The reception tonight was was um it was possibly the best reception I've seen at a boxing event and um and it was for me. So that makes me very proud, one. Two, um no no, still one. So I'm very um I'm very sorry for everyone that came and, and the disappointment there. I hope we have some fantastic action from the next two fights. I apologise to everybody. I'd offer you a refund, but Eddie doesn't pay me enough for that yet. Well, <laughs> let's come on to the fact it's not your decision for the fight not no, to no, continue. No. I'm sure you would, if you had your way, you would have fought out and boxed out as long as you can. But this is why we have sort of officials and referees to, to take that decision out of your hands. I, uh, obviously, I argued it with the referee. I couldn't see the damage. Mick said, I went over and asked him straight away, I said, Mick, what is it? And Mick was like, I see the look on his face. And I thought, right, it's, it's probably off. But then I knew there was about 30 seconds around, you know, I just wanted that, I wanted that bit of the round. But it's like Luis Ortiz, when I got stopped by Luis Ortiz, I was devastated. The referee was holding it, it was under the sun. And then I watched the fight, looked at my tongue and I thought, right, he's done me a favour now. So this time I looked back at it even quicker and I realised eight, sti eight stitches, yeah. you know, it's the right thing to do. I had BMS, I'm only 25. I'm really disappointed for everyone that came in. I'm disappointed because um, I'm, it's too early in the fight to say I would definitely beat Lenroy Thomas. I would have done this, I would have done that. But tonight, um, it felt like it was going to be a good performance. And um, so a mixture of disappointment for everyone that's came and the disappointment that, um, that I didn't get to show what I could do. You know, two minutes, 18 seconds uh, isn't enough. I've, yeah, I'm, I can't win. I, I could. Tell you what I thought the two minute eighteen seconds, I thought that was going all right. I was getting more punches off than I ever have in my life before in the first round. But uh, I'm not gonna sit here and say this and that. Lenroy may be looking at it a different way and people I'm looking at it differently, but um, you know, I can only offer uh, my apologies to everyone that's coming. I wanna go out and try and see as many people as possible and you know, for my next fight I wanna try and if anyone's bought tickets today, I'm gonna try and work something out, even if it's a t shirt or a discount on my commission, whatever we'll Try and do that for everyone. So, um, so yeah. As much as you're disappointed that you didn't get the Commonwealth Strap Day against Lemoy Thomas, the bromance with Lemoy will seems to set to continue. It looks as if we potentially could have a third fight of a trilogy. Thomas I was laughing. Trilogy. I was laughing about the trilogy because after the first fight, if you said there's a trilogy between me and him, I'd have been like, God, who's putting the money up for that? But um, you know, Lemoy's a nice fella. I didn't even dislike him the first time. I just try and be funny, mm -hmm. and um, I hope we do it again. Eddie came in here and did the ring walk and stuff and I have to be honest, um, Eddie comes in for a bit of stick sometimes but with me, he has been fantastic, he's been nothing short of great for me. You know, without him I'd probably, me and Mick would be flying to Germany every other week doing six rounders in the away corner. Um, but now I've knuckled down, I'm fit, I'll, I believe um, I can be in exciting fights and hopefully I get another chance, be it Lenroy Thomas or somebody else the cut's going to take a while but i hope i'll be back you know the the um i'd do that ring walk every day if i could you know it's brilliant now you and Lemoy have come in a lot better shape than you was for the first contest yeah uh, am i expecting you guys again to go away have 10 weeks potentially come back in beast mode you and Lemoy for the, the next fight the, the next fight is the super middleweight <laughs> you know <laughs> it's for the commonwealth super middleweight title rocky fielding wasn't here wasn't he going to vacate it and we we're going to box for it Lenroy came in fit. Uh, Kenny Porter's a lovely man. The whole team, I, I, I can't say anything bad about anything tonight. I, the only thing I can say is, is apologise to everybody that's made the trip up, you know, and and uh, and then the only other thing I've got left to say is a full list of thank yous for everybody that's, um, that I'd like to thank you. We can get to that now. Now, before we get onto the list of many thank yous, I mean, you've, you've got yourself in fantastic nick for this. Are you going to 
continue this momentum, yeah. shall we say? Are you going to now, for instance, be back in the gym straight away with Mick, getting yourself, keeping this 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 form and physique going? Yeah, fortunately, I'll get paid for tonight. Um, so it was straight back into full time training, you know, um, straight back in the gym. I don't want to ever see uh, north of 17 and a half stone again. Because you know what it's like, carrying a bit of excess. That's a bit unfair. So, uh, no, you, a bit unfair well, you call yourself my fat brother sometimes, so <laughs> there we go. So, um, so I, I'm going to keep under that weight, get back in the gym with Mick and keep running, keep enjoying what I'm doing. Disco Dave, Manifield's got a charity fight in six weeks' time. We'll keep fit together. Getting, I'll be training him for that now, joining in there, doing my thing, getting the Rhino Sanctuary up and running. Uh, but, you know, um, nights like tonight, I just want to continue and do that and hopefully I'm fortunate enough that Eddie gives me the chance to keep doing that but I'll be boxing uh, ASAP as soon as the eye is good to go we'll be boxing somewhere in the in the, in the UK somewhere. Yeah. I know you had your Rocky shorts on tonight yeah big deal about these first time they were top secret yeah and then a couple of weeks before you were due to wear them Ricky Burns went out and pulled out the same shorts for his big yeah. fight Got to wear them for two minutes, 14 seconds. 18, 18, 18, 18 seconds. 18 seconds. The, the important four seconds was the fucking head bot. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you've, you've spent longer tweeting about these shorts than you've actually had them on. Eddie said this is the longest I've ever been off Twitter. <laughs> and I've only been in there two minutes, 18 seconds. That's the longest I've ever been off. Yeah, the shorts, the shorts are no good now. They're no good. They're, uh, they ain't going to come out. We're going to have to go for something else. I'm going to have to be another fictional character off the telly and get some shorts like them. So... So yeah, Ricky Burns, Ricky Burns is a bit of a world champion, aren't he? Yeah, I want to cast your mind over to New York yeah. for the early hours. WBC champion Dante Wilder facing someone you know very well, Lewis King Kong Ortiz. How do you see that fight playing out, Dave? I um I change my mind on it every minute. Wilder's bigger and fresher, and and I don't know if I can say this, but I want to say it anyway. Please I think don't. Ortiz is off the gear. Can I say that? I've said it now. It's too late. He got popped after he boxed me on the gear, so fuck him. Ortiz is an exceptional fire. 379 hours to fight, it's 150 odd of them. Undefeated as a pro. Punched my head in, to be fair. Was but bad tongue he's, in he's, been, he's been popped three times for drugs now. Mm. And, and when he got popped after he boxed me, which was a bit after, it wasn't, we didn't get drug tested for the fight. My man over here is keeping the sport clean. Just about to pan on him, but that's so, uh, the Thanks for the can't, can't, can't So, pan um, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. You know, Ortiz winning for me would be exceptional. I'd be like, wow, I've been in there with the WBC World Heavyweight Champion. But for the good of the sport, I hope Dante Wilder cleans him out. And and I think I think he might. Ortiz is, is he's a very old 38, let's say. I'm not going to say I think he's any older, because I, I said last time he smelled about 70. <laughs> but uh, he looks old as fuck. And at the weigh-in, at the weigh-in, my first thoughts when I looked at the weigh-in, I thought, you need to get back jabbing your arse, son, because you look like shit. Do you know what I mean? So um, I, th I think I think uh, I think Ortiz will win. I don't now, know. I don't even know. Now Wilder made some accusations on IFL TV that he believes the masking agents are involved in the blood pressure stuff and whatever yeah. have you. Do you think he's got a a right to to feel as strongly as he does regarding his opponent? Lewis absolutely, Ortiz? absolutely, we have, and I, you know. Um, in boxing, as we've seen last week, very, very sadly, Scott Westgarth lost his life last week. And this is how serious this sport is. It's not a game, it's a sport, that's how serious this is. So a man's gonna, these, there's fighters out there act, actively taking drugs to, to better themselves and to cause more harm on another human being. They shouldn't be banned. They should be arrested and put into prison. It's effectively assault, it, it, it's, man, it's mental. I'm not a grass. You know what I'm saying I'm not a grass. Well, let's fucking we should lock. It is it is it is the soul. It's it's attempted murder. Do you know what I mean? God forbid. And if if I watch Lewis Ortiz, and anything happened to me, and then he go and and someone goes and fails drug test when you box with like that, and then what happens? The, the sport is finished. Then the sport would be finished in my eyes. Like I I wouldn't certainly wouldn't box again. If I, if that ever happened in boxing, we've got to get them out. We're gonna lock them up. Do you agree? As a drug man, you agree? Absolutely. It's fucking mental. Three drug tests fighting for the WBC World Heavyweight title of the world. They should have fucking reversed the decision with me, and I should be in New York now, boxing Wilder. But what, <laughs> if, <laughs> what if it is to do with a blood pressure tablet, Dave? He's 38 years old, isn't he? Yeah. Isn't he? Well, do you know what I'm saying? And the, and the, the, and the smell, and the smell, like, he smelled 70, I'm telling you. And people ask me, what was the smell? It was like dust. 
<laughs> you only you know got to your nan's house, you just smell dust. Just like to reiterate, my nan's house did not smell it. Well, mine does, best is a dirty bitch. I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's not like dust. You've got I just a break. to shake your hand. I know you wanted to continue. It happened, disappointing to everybody, but I know you want to keep going. Your we'll game, go I guess we'll have to do it again sometime. I hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, Nice team, Lenroy's team. Nice team. Kenny Porter's, um, I wish he was my, my dad, not my dad, uncle. uncle. I've got so many uncles, you know, so many fake uncles. But he's a, he's a nice man, Kenny Porter, the whole team. Mm -hmm. What was I saying? Yeah, we should just lock him up. He's absolutely, me he's absolutely mental. Like Bellu was on about it. And he's right, what he says, everything he says on about the drug cheese is correct. What the fuck are we doing? Mm -hmm. And like, you know what I'm saying? I could, I could go into it and, and whatever else, but I don't even have cough syrup. When I have a tickle, I don't have cough syrup. I don't have certain energy drinks. The only energy drink I drink is Luke's because I'm scared to death of failing one. Do you know what I mean? Like, just don't do it. It pisses me off. Spoke, have you spoken with Eddie in regards to what's going to happen now? Is there any chance we can get this rescheduled? What What is the plan moving forward from here, David? I hope so. My worry is, um, my worry is um, that, that won't be the case. You know, but uh, with the support, the support that I get, hopefully it grants me another chance and and I can and I can finally show what I'm about. I thought I've waited so f I waited nine months. It's going to be at least another. F it's going to be September time before it's 12 rounded, do you know what I mean? I'm 26, so I'm not getting no younger. <laughs> but um, the, the, what all I can do, I could sit here and feel sorry for myself. I could have cried in ring, but I don't cry on TV. You do it in the shower so, so no one knows it's tears. Everyone thinks it's water from the shower. That's the only time I cry. <laughs> I go in the shower when it's coming, I go in the shower and I just feel sorry for myself in that. And um, uh, what can I say? What can I do? I, I got out of the ring, I sat in and I'm just thinking, what can I do? I've, I've got a cut. It was nobody's fault. That's it. it happens, it's boxing. So back in um, the gym, sort of Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, straight time, away, you straight know. Away. Dave's got a 10 round spar with me to the body <laughs> on Monday morning and he's going to pay for He's going to pay for what just happened, you know, and a mark can join in if he wants. I'll smash his glass head in. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. Uh, well, listen, I'm glad you're in good spirits. I'm glad the eye is all stitched up. The, the team seems to be very professional at what they're doing. Thank you very much for making yourself available. And we look forward to seeing what's going to go on with, with the trilogy slash rubber match between you and them, Roy. Yeah, you know, I just want to say a lot of thank yous now. Obviously, if everyone that's in here right now, yourself and Coogan, I was hoping Coogan was be here as well to the ring walk. You know, you're a big part of... Coogan couldn't be here today, but I hope I stood in all right for him, you know. It was, a, it was you've been a big part of the, of the ride. You know, Mick Marsden, as always, over there. I'd like to pan over. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to pan to No, I was, I was just waiting. <laughs> yeah, Mick, uh, me and Mick are just, uh, <clears throat> well, our uncle and nephew, I think. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> in my eyes, I don't know if Mick feels the same way. Maybe he doesn't, but <laughs> that's how that's how I see us, you know, and we'll be, we'll be back again. You know, uh, Amar, Monty, Disco Dave, you know, they're all here. Um, you know, Monty didn't want to get me a fucking banana, really. I had to, <laughs> Mick had to scream at him to send him to the shop, but he got it eventually. And then uh, on a wider thing, Eddie, Matt Shum, Sky Sports, giving me the chance. Um, Tyler Durden, aka Tom. He's a real person. People thought I was talking. I think the logo was going mad. He's a fella called Tom. He's uh, the last 15 months. He's been the man behind the rhino. Really, he's been uh, making everything possible. Um, you know, and then I like to find everybody, literally everybody in the fucking arena, nearly. Apart from the few Jamaican people that I saw for Lenroy. <laughs> Everyone else, I feel like I think even they was cheering for me in the end. I think they got a bit carried away in it. But I want to thank everybody that came. And um, you know the next fight, um, I will I will be doing something. Anyone who bought a ticket and came tonight, I'll be doing something. Some t-shirts or some sort t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. My commission yeah. will be taken off the ticket. If you get a forty pound ticket, I'm saving you four pound. But it's four pound. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't joke. If you get a ten, I will, I will. My commission will be taken off, and you will you will get minus four, six, eight. Ten. Can we just give him a signed Rhino t-shirt rather than have the four pound? Rather Anyone who's come Rhino today, if you message my sister, you want a signed t-shirt or if I can do something for you and you'd like something, I can do it. And everyone watching at home, I apologise. Um, but um, I'll be back, you know. And um, thanks for keeping the clean sport clean as well. <laughs> and that's it, I'll end on that now. On that note, Dave Allen, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations, I'll catch you soon, thank you. First time in history, all four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man.